all right people so i'm going to cook today in this oven wonder if this i just got it my sis ovi told me to get it i suffer from like heat exhaustion a lot because of my condition um got autoimmune and a lot of people with autoimmune you know we suffer from from the heat so in my uh, that's why i haven't made cooking videos in my kitchen i think this belongs down i just got it and i wrapped it um this one is called the boss so it's similar to um a new wave oven and my sis ovi told me i should get it because i i was asking her if you know it would help with the temperature in my kitchen my kitchen is already hot and i live in an apartment where we don't have you know central air and stuff like that there's no air conditioning in my kitchen um i have a very tiny apartment a one and a half bedroom and i have two air conditioners in my in my bedrooms and i leave the door open so that i could go into the living room so that's how we get cool air in a regular bronx apartment so um i don't mind saying all that to you because you know this this is how we live and this is how um you know for those of us who are in as fortunate to have big kitchens and you know and central air and you know not a big budget this is why making meals a <clears throat> latin meals in different ways and um like shortcuts is important to me and and how i live and how other people live so that they're able to do the same thing so um i got this second hand now it's brand new the person who had it prior did not use it so i purchased it through the internet second hand and um I already rinsed it I think I have to rinse it again and I'm going to cook pork chops today um, and the next video I'm gonna put on my gloves because I did my nails and I don't want to get anything messed up and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna season the pork chops but um, I'm not gonna cook right now I want um, you know I want the pork chops to to take in the seasoning well so i'm gonna leave it seasoned for like at least maybe two hours or three hours so next video i will teach you how i'm gonna simple season some pork chops when i make it in here they, it should taste like pernil like spanish pernil or pork shoulder for those of you who don't know what pernil is you should though pernil is the bomb but i'm making pork chops and in this oven for the first time Okay, so my son doesn't know how to do the camera. I tell you kids, when it's for them, they know everything. Um, so right now I'm just putting the, the mixture I made of vinegar, garlic paste. And again, you could do the garlic fresh, but I'm taking a shortcut. And um, so I put all the ingredients in one bowl so that I don't have to shake stuff on it even though at the end i might need a little more um you know of my adobo you can use a goya adobo or you know whatever brand you like if you like to if you want to make your own that's a little bit healthier then you would need all the dry powders and i'll tell you what you need in another video not right now but and i apologize again for not doing for not doing these videos sooner but it's been really hot to be cooking big meals and have a camera and you know so yeah I have been cooking for my family but I try to get out the kitchen very quickly so basically you you want your pork chops to really grab the mixture and these pork chops are gonna lay in a rack on that oven which I have to clean um so you just want to make sure that you get everything on there and rub it well and then you put it back 
right on top of each other so that it can you know absorb all the flavors I like to use um fresh garlic but when you don't have fresh garlic a paste is great you know paste you have to once you open a paste you have to put it and that's it so when I come back I'm gonna let this soak for about um, I'm gonna wrap it up let it soak for about two hours or two and a half hours and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna use this oven for the first time I don't know what I'm gonna make with this but we're gonna use the oven for the first time see you in a bit okay my son messed up before and when I was um, seasoning the pork chops which I'm gonna place right here now when I was seasoning the pork chops my son did not get that video so I will tell you in another video or in the comments below or the description below what I did to season the pork chops but we're gonna make pork chops for the first time and we're gonna place them on the rack and um, I'm gonna use my left hand because I'm a righty and I have to put the top with the right so um I want to make four at a time I have eight pork chops here and show them the rack come this way so I'm gonna ouch I had it preheating so <laughs> be careful be careful Um, I'm going to set the timer for 30 minutes and at 15 minutes I'm going to check them. I want to be able to, to place at least four. I'm making this for the first time in the recipe book. I'm not, I'm doing my own recipe, but the recipe book I use for the timing and they don't have for pork chops. They have for pork loin and all that stuff. So, um. And us Puerto Ricans like our pork, most of us like our pork chops crispy. At least, at least I do. So, and my family. Um, so, I'm just trying to make room for it. Can you see it? Alright, so. Um, I promise I'm going to have a better setup. I'm using my phone camera. Um. So I'm going to make four for now, and I'm going to put the lid on. The lid has a safety. There you go. And come over here. I'm going to place the timer for 30 minutes. And, you know, you could adjust that later. You can't go, they say not to go counterclockwise. So 30 minutes for now at 350. And I'm going to click this because that's what will start it. And there you go. Show them through here. Don't get too close. So I'll be back and I'll show you how it's doing in 15 minutes. I'll show you. This thing has only been on for seven minutes. And I'm totally impressed because the whole apartment smells so good. I can't even express how good it smells. Um, I really have to give you the recipe which is so simple I'm gonna tell you right now um, basically I took like a, a Tupperware where I put the pork chops right here and before I put the pork chops in I put about three to four tablespoons of garlic paste you can crush garlic fresh garlic yourself and it'll taste good either way pepper and my own adobo that's all you need if you don't know how to make adobo you could use adobo goya I placed it in here and I mixed it all together um, with three tablespoons of vinegar mixed the whole mixture together and then I started putting the pork chops in there until they were all coated and you know that's a simple way but in my adobo I have a lot of dry ingredients I'll show you how to make that another day um, my son messed up while he was doing the video and it didn't record so I wanted to show you I'm rocking back and forth I'm sorry you see the grease coming out of those pork chops? That's what makes cooking on this thing healthy. Um, Providencia Silva, who has her own cooking channel, 
that's my sis and she did a video for me and she made chicken so you should go check out her her um youtube because she has so many good puerto rican cuisine recipes and they're amazing um my son was telling me that he thinks it's gonna be ready sooner but again i like my pork chops crispy these were defrosted so maybe he's right because they kind of like they got color already i don't know he might be right but these pork chops are gonna be amazing so i'm gonna know the timing more or less um they look like they're frying in their in their own juices you know their own fat because the and the rest of the fat is dripping down so we're not going to eat that so we're probably 10 minutes in or a little more than that and let me see the timer yeah in a few minutes i'm gonna turn i don't know if i should turn those over actually i might just leave it and and um I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it for a while. Alright guys, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It's actually the light is making it look darker. Because the light has that yellow that yellowish color, but it's not as dark. I think it looks darker in the camera. It does that. It, the light goes on and off, so don't get scared when it does that. Um, let me see if we can get the actual color. It smells so good. You're going to be happy with your purchase if you get one of these. They have a whole bunch of brands. And um, that's it for now. I don't want this video to be too long. I was going to um, make baked potatoes in here. And you can make more than one thing, but the problem here is that if you put the meat on the top, then oil is going to fall on whatever you're cooking on the bottom. And I wanted the pork chops crispy, so I am not going to do that. So I'm basically going to just boil corn, boil potatoes, and call it a day. So I'm not going to, you know, this is all about the pork chops in the oven and, um, and a simple recipe that's pretty much Latin. It's so simple. All right. So um, let me see if it's still throwing out oil. Yeah, it's still throwing out oil. It's done about 20 minutes. There goes the timer. Maybe 25. And I haven't turned them. And um, again, I like my family likes our pork chops crispy. So. I'm thinking that I'm not gonna turn them after 30 minutes I might I might give it another five minutes on the other side I have to look at them so I'm gonna let it go the full 30 minutes and again like for a person who likes their pork chops juicy and you, you don't even need to cook them this long probably um, defrost it maybe 20 minutes tops I don't know it's pork that's why a lot of Hispanics, we don't play that. We just cook. We cook it till it's till it's crispy. Then we don't have to play with temperatures and stuff like that. We don't have to put thermometers in our meat because we know that the meat is cooked. Um, just, just for the record, you know, these things come with a recipe book, and you don't have to use their recipes, but in the recipes. They tell you the timing of how long the meat should be cooked. I couldn't find anything for for pork chops. They had different pork recipes, but not for pork chops. So I just decided to put the timer for 30 minutes. And I am I'm gonna show you when I turn them. I'm gonna let it finish cooking because every minute counts and I'm depending on how it looks on the bottom I'm gonna show you um then I might leave it another five minutes on the other side I just really want it okay my son is recording again so I am going to um take this off hold on I'm gonna put take the top off 
they're very very crispy but again my family likes our stuff crispy so don't judge me all right put it right over basically if you fry a pork chop that's what you know that's what you want let me take off this and I'm going to turn them they should be cooked on both sides but I'm going to put them for maybe three to five minutes okay my my son keeps messing up going here my son keeps messing up my video so what I'm doing now is I'm turning them over I'm having a hard time get get a little back I'm turning them over so they can get crispy on on the other side and um, okay I'm just having trouble because I never used this before so I feel a little bit awkward and um like I said I have eight pork chops I'm gonna do the other ones the same way so I'm trying to do this video for you and I'm gonna put it for five more minutes on this side so it could get crispy and that's gonna be it then I'm gonna do the next step so this is it um show them I want to put the timer on it's on 350 I'm gonna put the timer on for five minutes and put that and that starts is it on? No, it's not on. Okay, you gotta be careful. Um, put that back down. There you go. And that's it. I'll be back. 